What's going on, man? You know who it is. It's Dorian Jackson. It's the saucy guy. Prepare the sauce. You know what I'm saying? Aki Valley, your sincere advisor, your brother from another mother. You know what I mean? Um, this Aisha Curry situation. You know what I'm saying? Steph Curry is my favorite basketball player. He's also one of my favorite people. I always say if my son was to be a professional athlete, he's one of the He's the only professional athlete I would want my son to be like. Um, because he's he's virtuous, he's talented, he works hard. Um, his 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 game is is one of a kind and his career legacy transcended his physical potential. You know what I mean? Stephen Curry is religious, you know what I'm saying? Um, he's a family man. He married his high school sweetheart, you know what I mean? And honestly, I thought that his relationship was like an outlier. I thought that his relationship was like one of the few examples of a good relationship. I always tell people when I chop up game with them, hey man, you know, you need to get with you need to get with the girl that you that you knew for the longest. That's probably your only chance at having something decent. But this situation with Aisha Curry, where she said that she be wanting attention from other men, it it blew my mind, and it's impossible to blow my blow my mind. You know what I mean? Full disclosure. You know what I'm saying? Um, I always was fortunate enough to receive to get the women to get a lot of women to get and mostly the women I like. Usually they they approach me. Educated women, beautiful women. I don't even deal with women from the city where I'm from. You know what I'm saying? Keeping it a thousand. I'm from Philly. I don't even deal with women from the city. I deal with women from the suburbs, from two parent households that, you know, is usually educated. Now, don't get me wrong. Every now and then I like a little ratchet chick for a little bit of entertainment. But this just this full disclosure. I say this to say I have a lot of experience with thousands of women. You know what I'm saying? I've. I've par I've parlayed with hundreds of women and I've I've had experience with thousands of women and I very rarely, you know, I I like to say I was born red pill. You know what I'm saying? Like I never took the red pill. I was born red pill. Just because of my family experiences what we talk about, you know what I'm saying? I was raised by women. You know what I'm saying? I don't say that proudly. And you know what I'm saying? I had to go out here to the streets. And really, and really learn things, but, but I was raised by women, and in that I seen the fuckery, I seen the trickery, I seen the deception. Like I was very young when I became aware of of the lies of my mother. You know what I'm saying? I was forced to, but to life forced me to become aware of female nature. And with that being said, I'm not gonna get into that too much this video, but this Steph Curry situation is like wow. Steph Curry is. Tall, you know what I mean? The brother's 6'3", at least. You know what I'm saying? Athletic. He has a nine-figure contract. He's a handsome brother. You know, light skin, green eyes. And he's seemingly, you know, loyal to his woman. He puts her on the platform, allow her to create a brand, uh, keeps her visible. And it's one of them situations, like I try to tell brothers, it is no good women out there. There are no good women out there. Let me use proper English. There aren't any good women out there. You know what I'm saying? You could find the best of, 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 of what's out there, but it's, it's, it's just female nature. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, one of the few situations that I thought was an extreme outlier actually turns out she wants to be like everybody else. She wants male attention. And, and some people may argue, well, you know, it's just natural for a woman to want to be seen as attractive and desirable. Man, she got to humble herself. I mean, women have to humble themselves. You're, you're a married woman. Like, it's, man, it's audacious to sit there and say, you just randomly want attention from men and you feel like, well, what's wrong with me? I mean, I heard brothers say, well, you know, it's the competition between men and women. I heard her brother say, well, you know, Steph isn't an alpha. She wants the bad boy. Let me tell you something, a poison tree can't bear good fruit. 
And the bottom line is, whether you look at the Bible as symbolic, parabolic, you know what I'm saying, um, literal, look at the first story in there, Adam and Eve. I tell my, I tell my homies, it's, it, it can't be a greater man than Adam. You know what I'm saying? Like, and I'm, I'm somebody who, who studies religion, who studies um, the, the Bible, the Torah, the, the Quran. You know what I'm saying? Um, who studies religion? You know, um, and it's never going to be a greater man than Adam. We all come from Adam. You know what I'm saying? We was all present in Adam in one form or fashion. We're all derivatives of Adam. You know what I'm saying? If you really, if you really study the scripture, you know, they say at one time people was basically, was basically giants. You know what I'm saying? People was basically tall, like tall, way bigger than they are now. Adam was raised by God. If you study the scripture, God taught Adam basically and gave him the ability to give a name to give a name to everything. Adam had probably the most intimate relationship with God ever. We could talk about, you know, Jesus or Isa, alayhi salam, peace be upon him, as he's called in Islam. You know what I'm saying? Uh Yahashua, as he's called, you know what I mean, in um the Torah tradition. But like Adam was truly the son of God. You know what I'm saying? Like who was his dad? You know what I'm saying? He literally, you know, God produced him and God put him under his tutelage. And he didn't want Adam to be lonely, so he created Eve from Adam. And, you know, um, if you really follow the story of Adam and Eve, according to the Torahic tradition, which is where, you know, the Islamic scholarship gathers the story of Adam and Eve, um, basically, Satan was told to, to bow to Adam. He didn't want to because he was proud, so he was cast down. You know what I'm saying? And um, then Adam was put in a garden, and Eve was created. You know, I'm skipping through things. And the serpent came to Adam. He knew he couldn't get in between Adam and God, so he went to Eve, the thing that Adam loved the most. He went to Eve, and he got her to, to bite the apple. And she got Adam to bite the apple. And I tell brothers, you got to look at this story and you got to pick up all the game you can from it. And I tell them, Adam, who the greatest man who lived, the only man, if Eve didn't honor Adam, if Eve wasn't faithful and loyal to Adam, why would her daughters honor you and be faithful and loyal to you? You know what I'm saying? Um... And it's a sad reality, but it's the truth. To quote King Solomon in the um, Septuagint, he said, out of a thousand men, I found one to be good. I still haven't found a good woman. I'm gonna say out of the same thing here, out of a thousand men, I found one to be good. I still haven't found a good woman. Look, man, the Saucy ain't seen, the Saucy ain't seen it all. My friends is athletes and rappers. Know what I'm saying I'm I'm from the streets, but I actually have an accounting degree from a nationally ranked business program. If you watch my videos, you will understand that. I've always all of the the Dreas, the Sophias, the Nickies. I I know I met them all. I'm not gonna say I know them well. I've been around them. I spent time with them. I've got to know them. They know me. They know who I am. You know what I'm saying? Like we have a rapport. You know. Um, the Cassies, all of them, I've been around them. I remember Cassie was, was I was breaking, uh, I gave her a backwood to put in her hand and she, I was breaking the weed up in the backwood. I didn't even know who she was. This is just, this just, this just facts. So I'm trying to give y'all background. Like, I've really, I've, I've seen some things in my life. You know what I'm saying? I've been around the top entertainers, the top athletes, the top people in the business world, um, the top, whatever you want to call them, uh, females in entertainment, the top thoughts. I've been around very educated women, you know what I'm saying? Um, I've dealt with primarily college educated women from good households. And like I said, I commented under one of BGS's videos. When people think that it's just ghetto women that's this way, no, educated women are worse. You know what I'm saying? Educated women play a game with, with with less discernible fuckery for higher stakes, but for more long-term view. And you know what I mean? And the long-term term goal is, I'm not gonna say to manipulate you or to use you,
but it's the step on you to on the way to wherever they want to they want wherever they want to be. So Aisha Curry and Steph Curry have a perfect relationship. Imagine if a man came out and said, "I just want attention from more women." You know, I'm I'm it's it's not that I want more women. I just want attention from more women. It would it would be deplorable and irreprehensible. Aisha Curry comes out and says this, and the worst part about it is she's basically sending out like a signal or a beacon to all the halfway decent, and I do mean halfway decent because I don't really think it's, it's decent women out there, sadly. Like, this is something I lament over. Like, I might be saying it's not no decent women out there. I'm not saying it like, oh, yeah, it's not no decent women out there. Like, I truly wish... It was some, I, I could say I came across a decent woman. Like the ones that I've come across still have a lot of latent fuckery. And it's time for men to wake up and realize something. Like we're always demonized and made the bad guy. Male nature is put under a microscope. Male nature is criticized, but female nature is worse. I've been saying for decades, women, I say this because I see it. I say this because I've been single for 10 years and I fuck hundreds of women and the vast majority of them have been in relationships. And it's obvious that they're in relationships. When you meet a chick and you fuck maybe a, a day or two later, if if that long, and you know, you, you tear the pussy up, you know what I'm saying? And um after that, you know, like it's it, it's not 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 really no communication. You realize, oh, she was probably arguing with her dude. Like a woman will will will, will argue with you just to just to take a break, you know, a little week break, a weekend break and cheat on you and say she didn't cheat and then get back with you. And you know what I'm saying? And, and, and most of the time, our egos as men, our egos as men won't allow us to see the true nature of women. Our egos as men won't allow us to see, damn, she probably got more bodies than me because if she wanted to, she could. So why doesn't she? Like a chick could be a six, go out here and get with a, a, a man that's like a 10 easily. Like, if you want pussy, you got to step your game up, go go try to get, go look for it. If a woman wants some some dick from a like a, a alpha 10 type nigga or whatever like that, all she has to do is say yes. Like, sometimes, like I, you know what I mean? Sometimes when you out or if you want to bust or something, look at these women and how they text. You'll notice most of the text in their phone is blue dots that they that, that they haven't read from men. And a lot of the times, right after they text somebody back, they sit there and delete the thread. These women are super secretive. I'm telling y'all, like y'all have to wake up. A study just came out that's all over, you know, from a reputable source saying that 28% of men haven't if a bit have been involuntarily celibate for the past 12 months, meaning they can't get none. Only 18% of women. So that means women are more sexually active than men. Aisha Curry said this. The people want to know why she said it. She said it for attention. She said it because she knows thoughts is winning. And at the end of the day, truth be told, every every woman is a thought. Like, do y'all really think that when Steph Curry is on the roll, and it's like, for me, it's hard to wrap my mind around it because Aisha Curry represents this virtuous figure. And even though, like I said, I was born... With the red pill, like I'm literally, I was literally, I never, I always, you know, um, stomped down on the, you know, part of my French, but I always stomped down on the bitch. I just couldn't help it. I always practice heelism on a woman. Truth be told, now I'm, in my older years, I'm getting softer. But do y'all really think that Steph Curry wife isn't sitting there watching porno a bunch of big black niggas that don't look nothing like Steph Curry when he's out of town, at the very least? Do y'all really think Steph Curry's wife isn't texting guys from high school talk about what could have been at the very least? And she came out and said that, but most importantly, she said what she said for attention. She said what she said for shock value. She said what she said because she's tired of being looked at as this good, perfect, virtuous person. And you would ask yourself, why would somebody with a perfect life, basically basically with a perfect husband, want to throw that away. She bit the apple, just like Eve. She bit the apple. Like women, people don't really understand the psyche of women. Like women don't want to do the best or the right thing to do 
because they're expected to do the best and the right thing to do. Just like men, really, honestly, men are very virtuous, and we want to do the best and the right thing to do because at mostly society, these we're so tired of society demonizing us and turning us into these sexual monsters or whatever have you. So if you really look at it over the past 10, 20 years, we've done everything, especially black men, in our power to be good fathers, to obtain the education, to be, to control our aggression. So, like I said, if Adam, the greatest man who ever lived, you know, more or less, you know what I'm saying, who, uh, you know, he may have committed that. I mean, he may not even have committed to sin really necessarily a bite in the apple. He may have just looked at it like Eve bit the apple. Well, I don't want to be here by myself. Like, what choice do I have? Y'all know that feeling? Like, when you're with a woman and you know that she's like... Put it like this, man. A lot of these dudes in the streets that pop perks, a lot of these dudes in the streets that's engaged in fuckery, they not engaged in fuckery because they want to be. They may have dealt with a chick that was engaged in fuckery. We don't, we don't, we don't talk about that. And I realize, man, a lot of these brothers on YouTube is, you know, they they not really thorough because they don't, they can't, they not really breaking down a game to its fullest extent on a quantum level. Like, female nature is far darker than y'all, than most people think. Y'all yeah, hear about the sexual underworld is real. Man, it's, it's not even no sexual underworld. It's in your face. If you can't look around and see the fact that the average chick got more bodies than you, then you out your mind. Like, I'm going to keep it a thousand. I done knocked down hundreds of these bros. And I seen, like... And truth be told, yeah, I'm educated. I have my degree. But, you know what I mean? The streets is in me. And that's why they like me. They don't like me because I'm educated. They don't like me because I'm God-fearing. They don't like me because I'm always quoting the Bible. They don't like me because I'm a good father. They like me because they look at me and see a street nigga. When I start talking that degree, God shit, that's when they get turned off. Whenever I start talking that wanting to build, wanting to grow shit, that's when they get turned off. I done fuck more women. I done, I done had sex with more women. And then like, Wax poetic or got spiritual or, or, or tried to bring it somewhere and fucked up the relationship. Because these, but you see, y'all see me, these women look at me and see a, a man out of porn up. Six foot something. You know what I mean? Six one. You know what I mean? Uh, cut up, beard. You know what I'm saying? Um, even you can't educate the gangster out of me, to be real. So, like I said, man, it come down to the fact, like the theme of this video is if they, if Eve didn't honor Adam, and by faithful and, 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 um, and, and showing fidelity to Adam, I don't necessarily mean she fucked the snake, but at the end of the day, she went with the snake program over Adam program. She knew Adam wasn't on that type of time. She knew Adam and God was like this, but she went with the snakes program. And Adam probably didn't have no choice. What was he going to do? Was Adam going to be in the garden alone? And we already know God, so... I mean, women going to choose the, the devil. Or, like the theme of the Adam and Eve thing is women is going to choose, is going to listen to the devil over man. And sadly, most of the time, man will allow a woman to get between him and God. Like, And if y'all can't see that, then y'all just looking at things for what y'all want to see, not what they are. And if y'all don't see that going on out here every day, I don't know what to tell y'all. I mean, read the Bible. A woman is to be shorn or shaved. Why y'all think a woman is supposed to cover the Bible? I'm Muslim. But truth be told, the Bible tell you probably more than the Quran. A woman is supposed to cover her beauty. I mean, let's not get into the angels coming down having sex with the women. And, and y'all don't really understand the theme of that story of Adam and Eve. Like, according to the Bible, the angels having sex with the women was the major problem that caused the flood. Come on, man. Like, like. This going to be a long one because I might have to really bust out the scriptures on y'all. And this coming from a street bull who's seen it all. This coming from a, a cat. Like, I've been chose. Like, I done had, you know what I'm saying, um, women who get who obtain their money from tricks. Tell me, yo, I want you to hold my money. I want you to instruct me. I honestly used to tell them, no, nah, I've got too much going for myself. And truth be told, I don't, I don't want the problems that come with, that come with having to tend to your fuckery. You know what I'm saying? Even if it come with the, with the bag. Like, yeah, this come from a man who, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, I've, I've 
the majority of, of, of the women I've dealt with have been what, what men desire, college educated, light skin, fat butt, two family household, um, going to law school, um, good job. The majority of stuff in my, in my home has been provided for me by women. Like if I was to go through my house and show y'all all the stuff that women have, have given me and gotten me, I would be astonished. But at the end of the day, whenever I come on the, you know, let's let me, you know what I mean? And that's why, as I say, like I said, as I got older, I got softer because a lot of times I try to prove myself wrong. Like, nah, dude, this can't be right. It got to be some decent joints out here because I'm feeling like Adam. I'll be feeling lonely. God, take one of my ribs and make it mate for me. But uh, you going to go out just like Adam. So we just can't never forget that. You can't never forget who you're dealing with. We be thinking that a woman is the closest thing to God or your mother is the closest thing to God that you'll ever have. No, honestly, it's your father because that's where you start from. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's like, bam, God, father, his nut sack. To your mom, hold on to that. All your mom does is carry you. That's what the ovaries are. The ovaries, literally, that's the egg that carries. That's the shell. You know what I'm saying? Your father is the white and the yolk. You know what I'm saying? Your mother is the shell. So Aisha Curry, look, if Eve, if Eve didn't appreciate, respect, honor, was, was uh, loyal to Adam, why are her daughters going to be loyal to you? If Steph Curry with his green eyes and he's six foot three, I'm only six one. He's six three. You know what I'm saying? I don't even have no money like that. I'm a humble cat. I'm to be honest with you. I just look like I got money. And Steph Curry got a nine figure contract. I mean, if she's bold enough to go on TV and say, I want other men to look at me and give me attention, imagine what this chick is doing behind Steph's back. Imagine what she doing when Steph is going for four or five days on them road trips. Because let's be real, man. If y'all think Steph Curry ain't, you know what I'm saying, getting no other cutty, I mean, he, I mean I'm going to give him the benefit of the doubt because at the end of the day, I still think a man is more, like studies show, men is less sexually active than women. You know what I'm saying? But it's going to come out one day that, 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 that usually women cheat more than men. Like women, they more sexual than men, but they understand the leverage for them. It's like a poker game. It's the bluff. And the more they can act like they not, the more they can get you to give up to get that sexual attention. You know what I'm saying? Um, so in this, like I said, this stuff for Aisha Curry situation is like, all right, it's like a confirmation for me. For a lot of y'all, like y'all minds is blown. But to me, it's a confirmation because I done had women that have men in perfect situations. And they, they don't want me to do nothing but smack, smack, them, with, smack, them, with, smack them with the shaft in the face. You know, um, I done had women that's like, yo, she got to have a boyfriend. Like, I done had women, you know what I'm saying, suck me off the first night they met me. You know what I mean? Beg me to explode in their face. And then, you know what I mean? I might hit the chick up, ask her, yo, you trying to grab something to eat? She don't even want to do that. You got to ask yourself why. It's because she has a man. She has a, a provider or whatever you want to call it. You know what I'm saying? And the nine times out of ten, they be shocked when they even get that attention from me. Like, damn, I thought you was just a savage that was going to run down on me. So this coming from a man that is like that stereotypical, quote unquote, alpha, you know what I'm saying? That is, you know what I mean, you know, but that almost in a way didn't want to be, you know what I mean? Like, and we'll get into that later, but man, if Adam, if Adam couldn't, if, if Eve didn't respect and trust Adam and, and ran to the snake, if she wasn't loyal to Adam, why are her daughters going to be loyal to you? If Aisha Curry don't appreciate Steph Curry enough to at least not say that publicly, then why is these women going to be loyal to you? Yeah, you might think you met the perfect woman. That's because she's playing the long game. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, or maybe you just represent um, like a provider figure to her, or a damn near, you know, a father. You know what I'm saying? And it'd be a motherfucker like me that she, that she, 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 that she have in a tuck. That she had just hit up every now and then. I won't get no explanation about why I ain't see her in four months. You know what I'm saying? After I met her and I fucked her the night after we met. You know what I'm saying? Or, or why she was so quick to fuck me and then didn't text me back. But then four months later, want to come back through the next time. You know, she watched an episode of Luke Cage. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Like, so I'm giving it to y'all real. I'm giving it to y'all raw. Like, you know what I mean? I'm telling y'all what y'all need to hear, not what y'all want to hear. 
the truth was like a double-edged sword. It hurt the giver and the receiver. It hurts me to say this because as much as anything, I don't want to be, if I can go back, man, I wouldn't be the man. I wouldn't have been a man that, that had sex with hundreds of beautiful women. I'd be the man that settled down when he was 16 and was with one girl since then. But unfortunately, I found through experience that that's not possible. Like I said, I've been around Sophia Vergara. I didn't even know who she was, man. I'm not, I'm, I'm not in an Instagram. I'm real one, to be honest with you. I've been around Drea, had her dancing in my face when the person that she was really there with, because she was mad at the person that she was there with. So she's standing right basically in front of my face in between my legs dancing. I'm trying to kind of push her away because I don't want to upset my homie that's messing with her. I've been around Nikki, you know what I'm saying? And I know Nikki's fuckery firsthand, you know what I'm saying? So, and I'm not going to put out any of my dogs in that regard, but you know what I'm saying? Like, so it is what it is, man. Like, y'all just, y'all y'all need to learn. Like, lessons is blessings. You know what I mean? They say a wise man learn from his mistakes. A great man learns from other people's mistakes. So learn from them. Learn from Solomon's mistakes. Learn from Adam's mistakes. Learn from Steph. You know what I'm saying? Um... These women are for breed and recreational purposes. And if you got money and resources, you better protect yourself and protect your wallet and protect your neck and keep your foot on the bitch neck. To be honest with you, that's the only thing they respect. That's the only thing they respect. Look at Cookie. Magic done got AIDS. She's still in pocket. I, don't, I can't explain it. I'm not justifying it. It is what it is. I don't like it. It is what it is. I hate it. It hurts my heart. I wanted to be good women out here, but I ran through hundreds of them and I dealt with and, and, and been in a company of thousands and tens and thousands of them since a little boy. And I, I went to the biggest high school in my city, the best, most educated high school in my city. I went to Central High School with the smart, pretty girls. And I remember my senior year, I literally had about 30, 40 girls, bad joints come at me. I couldn't understand why. I had a teacher try to, you know, literally as witnesses. She called me at 11 o'clock at night on my top. So I know these females, you know what I'm saying? And that's not a good thing. That's not something to brag about because at the end of the day, they ain't shit and pussy stink. So it's the saucy, eh? I prepare the sauce. Achiavelli, your brother from another mother, the black Achiavelli, the black Machiavelli, here to give you the game and the advice that everybody else is scared to give you. Y'all stay blessed.